Well, you all know women have uh, no rights uh, uh, when Taliban came to Afghanistan. What you don't know is Afghan women had their rights before European women even knew what that was. You know, American women even knew that. Uh, a very sophisticated country uh, in that sense that women were working shoulder to shoulder with men. And women, there were nightclubs. Women, you know, there's a picture I've seen of my mom and her friends wearing high boots, m mini skirts, dancing you know, going to, to work with the beautiful suits, you know, above the knee skirts, high heels. The country went like 500 years backward. That's the part that was really um, extremely upsetting for Afghan women. Because if you've never seen independence and, and freedom, uh, you d it doesn't hit you so hard if somebody suppresses you a little bit further. But if you had complete freedom, and it's, com and, and it's all taken from you. It is a shock that it's extremely difficult to absorb. And, um, but it was beyond that for me when I looked at my country at that time. <laughs> و دیگه فکر میکنن نظام اینجا خطرناک است خب در رواج بند مونده اما پایبند نیست چرا یه چیز با آرامی پیش نمیره میفهمی زندگی مرد مرکز زندگی مرد کارش است و او ناناور فامیل خود است ها و زنا باید در خانه بشینن و کارهای خانه رو انجام بدن چه گپ غلط Uh, today, uh, slowly and so slowly in Afghanistan, I mean in Kabul, I should say, in the suburbs is still very difficult, but in Kabul, it's changing a little bit. But once you go through a shock like that, a lot of uh, uh, media ask me a lot about, you know, well, are you working on getting the burqas off their women? And um, <laughs> my answer to that is, the, the last thing that an Afghan woman is thinking about right now is does she have a burqa on or off. She's worried about her life, about her safety, about her family's safety. She's, poverty is in the highest level right now. She just cares about building a fire, making some rice, and feeding her family. Uh, the priority of having her burqa off or on is uh, not on top of her agenda. Uh, what we need to do for women in Afghanistan is education, 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 so they can stand up for themselves. And, and um, when I'm in Afghanistan, I, I've never worn a burqa. My mother never worn a burqa, neither my grandmother. So it's not something I've ever seen before. I shot the movie. I made a statement about it. I just refused to dress like that. I, I wanted to um, be, one person has to start you know, be the example of saying, it's okay, you know, oh, look at me. Okay, so I have, a, I have a little scarf, sometimes was on, sometimes was off. I wasn't so paying attention to it, covering my face and all that, uh, all the time. And um, yes, I got some looks, but I didn't care about it. I just said, uh, you know, deal with it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Yes. To me, I'm going to push the push pad. No, no, I'm going to push in the Zika Mama. I'm going to be a little bit of 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 a Mm -hmm. 